the only conclusive evidence we have that we ever existed or anything ever existed is what we see around us is those rocks, is the trees, is the historic depositation of their legacy. Because we are very, very small blips in a, in a larger picture. And I think that's quite holy because we are often the center of our own universe, but we will never be and have never been the center of the environment. My name is Caitlin Mary, and I go to New Mexico State University. I'm majoring in environmental science. I'm originally from Fisher, Illinois, which is a small town with a population of less than 2,000 people that's filled with rolling cornfields and generational farmers and flat, flat land. So I came to New Mexico to see the mountains and see the forest and see something different. We are in the Gila National Forest, and we're in what I consider to be the Holy Land of, of New Mexico. It is, I think, one of the oldest forests in the US. It is a beautiful, diverse place to see some of the most gorgeous parts of New Mexico and, and to, to kind of be absorbed into what New Mexico is. Seeing where it needed help and where it needed conservation and where it needed love is what made me choose environmental science to get the chance to, to learn more about it and to observe it in all of its beauty. After attending a predominantly white high school and, and really getting a, a sort of sheltered view of history and issues within the U.S., I knew I wanted to attend either uh, HBCU or a HSI, Hispanic Serving Institution. The second I walked onto the campus, I knew that it was a place that I wanted to go, that it was going to be challenging, but that it was something I had to do to be a better person. I am planning on getting my doctorate in soil chemistry or an adjacent field to look at the intersection of soil, the environment, people, and public health, and how we all are intertwined to be working within minority groups and, and on reservations and, and asking one of the most profound things I learned at NMSU. How can science serve people and not the researcher? What can I do for you, not what you can do for me? You don't have to be an environmental science major to change the world, to make it a better place, but I have the tools to hopefully be a little bit more aware of how to do that. I think I'll change someone's life and that's enough for me, even if it's my own. <laughs>